RDD Operations. In this video, I'm going to explain about RDD Operations, RDD Transformation, and RDD Actions. There are two operations that can be applied on RDD. One is transformation. Transformation is what you do to an RDD to get another resultant RDD. The example would be to apply functions like filter, union. That would then create another resultant RDD. Filter is a transformation that when applied on an RDD will isolate certain elements and create a new RDD. For example, we're applying filter on books RDD to filter out only those books that contain Hadoop keyword in it. So a function literal is passed to filter transformation. This is the function literal. If you're unfamiliar with function literal, it is like unnamed function or anonymous function. It doesn't contain a function name. It only has input parameters and a function body. So all it knows is what needs to be done when an input is fed into it. This is how the filter transformation is applied on Books RDD and is assigned to Hadoop Books RDD. In the same way, all those books that have Kafka keyword in it are filtered and put into Kafka Books RDD. Highlighted lines explain how these filter operations can be done using Python. The only difference would be the usage of lambda expression instead of function literal. Now that we have filtered Hadoop and Kafka books, we can combine all the elements in those RDDs to create a resultant RDD called Hadoop and Kafka RDD. This combining of elements from two RDD is done using union transformation. Union is a multi-RDD transformation, which means it acts on more than one RDD. Let's try these RDD transformation examples filter and union in Spark Shell. I am giving the filter command to filter out the Hadoop books from Books RDD. Similarly, let's try the same filter command to filter out Kafka books from Books RDD. Now that we have Hadoop Books RDD and Kafka Books RDD, let's combine both using Union Transformation. Here, Union is applied on both the RDD. We have created Hadoop and Kafka Books RDD. This should contain the elements of Hadoop Books RDD and Kafka Books RDD. Let's verify this by using Collect Action. Here you go. It contains the elements of both the RDD. Actions are second type of operations in RDD. Actions return a result to the driver program or write it in a storage and kick off a computation. Some examples are count, first, collect, take. Count action can be used to get the number of elements in an RDD. First action can be used to retrieve the first element in the RDD. Take off N action can be used to retrieve N elements out of the RDD. As we have seen earlier, collect action can be used to retrieve the complete list of elements from the RDD. Some of the points to be noted here are, collect function should not be used on large data sets because the entire data set should fit in memory on a single machine. Collect function can generally be used for unit testing and debugging purposes, so we need to make sure the RDD is nailed down to very small amount of data before using the collect action. Transformations always returns RDD, whereas actions return some other data type. Let's try the discussed four actions in Spark Shell. I am applying count action on Hadoop Books RDD and it gives the number of elements in that RDD, which is three. Next, I am applying first action on Hadoop Books RDD. 
and it gives Hadoop in Practice, which is the first book in Hadoop Books RDD. I'm applying Takeoff 2 on Kafka Books RDD, and that has given any two elements from Kafka Books RDD. When I apply Collect Action on Books RDD, it gives me the complete list of elements of that RDD. In this video, we learned about how to apply RDD transformations like filter, union. We also learned about how to apply RDD actions like count, collect. In the next video, we will learn in detail about some of the basic RDD transformations.